Welcome back, gamers, to Democracy 3 with me, Madonna. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's SKS. Anyway, last time we left off, the GDP took a little hit. It's because the global economy is uh, down a little bit. Uh, we still have a budget surplus of $13 billion during this. Our education is maxed out, so France is one smart motherfucker. Hell, it's still staying. We've got crime and poverty down and unemployment. Eh. Fire the missiles, but I'm late tired. We'll take a nap and then fire the missiles. So stereotypes are holding up well here. Uh, my cabinet is loyal, but their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Maybe it's time to fire some of them. Last time we left off, organized crime is so close. So close. And our space program is about 67% into it. So France will be a power amongst the stars. Maybe I should play Kerbal Space Program and uh, start a space mission. Pollution is fucking taking off. They're just like, fuck you, GDP away. Which the GDP is, you know, eh. Eh. The global economy is hurting our GDP the most. Looks like the only thing hurting it is the, oh, it's hurting the environment. Oh well, we've knocked a little bit out of the debt. I'm happy about that. That's something you should always work for if you're a, you know, a minister of some sort. Now one thing we have to combat this turn is, before I go into this, is we have an election next turn. Holy shit. So is there really anything I want to uh, throw out here? Rent controls. Uh, nah, forget that. I don't think there's recycling, maybe? I mean, that's something. It's 1.42 billion. I mean, I know recycling's not that good, but I think I'll do it. I think I'm going to implement recycling, and it's going to help our France be pretty, and we will recycle all the urine that people put. But I guess now, gamers, it's time for... Oh, what's this? Fracking. Oh. Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, is a new drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreached, uh, unreachable deposits of shale gas. The technique is relatively new and requires the government to give permission to use. On the one hand, it opens up potentially huge supplies of energy. On the other hand, there are serious environmental concerns about the process. If we allow it, it will give the go-ahead to energy companies to carry out commercial level fracking operations on our soil. This is great news for consumers as it will drive energy prices down. It will reduce our dependency on foreign imports of oil and gas. Plus it will be a boost for the economy. What's not like? What's not to like? Fracking poses a number of dangers. Not least the possibility that it is linked to earthquakes and the very real danger of contaminating the water supply. As it involves pumping huge quantities of dangerous chemicals into the rock at very high pressures. Plus, this is just another way to perpetuate our reliance on ever-dwindling surprise of climate-damaging fossil fuels. Hmm. I think since we're trying to push and fix pollution, I think we should ban it right now. And let's move on. Let's see if I win re-election. Will SKS win? Here we go. Oh, I guess I should hit this button that says start count. It seems rather important. Oh, 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 oh shit, it is an ass whooping right now. We are just pouring on the pain train, making that... Wow. 11% of apathetic voters. But 98% of my activists turned out. And only 41% of the opponents, they knew they, they really couldn't win, so... Well, let's see the breakdown. Even people who don't like me voted for me. 96% of socialist. So as long as I still have the socialist on my side here in France, I guess we're in pretty good shape. 97% of the uh, parents voted for me. 99% of the conservatives voted for me. Interesting. So what will we go for on our next 
turn. Let's see, our budget is 7.9 billion surplus. The global economy is in a recession. It would be great if that would come out. Housing expansion. Uh, there's a shortage of homes in our country, and the government is under pressure to relax planning laws and allow previously restricted green belt land to be built on. Um, you can go ahead and read that. One pretty much just says that we destroy our countryside and allow housing, and the other one says we can keep the same restrictions and make them rebuild on other land. I'm going to have them rebuild. So let's see what we're working on. Okay, pollution is coming back down. That's a good thing. Hopefully obesity. What is making obesity go up the most? GDP. So if we make money in our country, you will get fat. And asthma. We, we are having a trouble with that. And organized crime is still just holding on just ever so slightly. So, I, I don't know. There's something... Organic farming. Mm, I don't think that's something we need to go after right now. I think we got a lot of stuff that's... Being pumped in. Like my space program, it's only 72%. I'm, I'm waiting so we can put a space station. In the shape of an Eiffel Tower in space. Let's head to the next turn. I'm excited for that. Our internet economy takes off. Business leaders have declared that our country is one of the most internet and technology-centered economies in the world. A record number of our citizens now shop and work over the internet. And broadband web access is now almost universal. That'd be great if it was that way in the United States, but nope. Uh, let's see, my captain is now trustworthy and their effectiveness is good. And surplus, education, I still want to see health go up. Oh, it's just, it's right there if it would just drop just a little bit. Where's my intelligence services? Um... Gated communities... Oh, I want to put... I need something that's also going to get this organized crime down. <laughs> yeah, we could uh, make narcotics. We can legalize cannabis. And that will make... Uh, Parents upset at us. It would fix the drug problem, but... France is a wine-drinking country, so we don't need to uh, deal with that. What about pollution? Well, it's below the start trigger, so that's good. I have 52 political capital. What do I want to do? Giving small business grants. The capital gains tax, we've lowered that. I would like to lower the sales tax is 26%. Damn. Poverty goes up. So this sales tax, I know it makes us, I, I can't get rid of it. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know right now. Let's let's give it another turn or so. I'm going to build up a lot of software patents. Software patents are a form of intellectual property law that allows companies to protect algorithms, pieces of computer code that implement a new technology, such as a new type of translation software or system for purchasing online. They are generally popular with big business, but unpopular with those who fight for a free internet and for those who think that patients, patents, not patients, are far too general and stifle innovation. 
If we allow them, it's essential for our digital economy that we enact laws that encourage investment in our new products and technologies. Without allowing software patents, we will be opening the doors to small companies, including those from overseas, to step in. If we reject them, software patents sound reasonable until you realize they can be used to stifle competition and innovation. And we don't want to do that. Remember one of the things we was building an awesome economy, so we're going to reject this. Small surplus of 10. But this is small compared to the overall governmental spending. Well, hopefully, hopefully, something good will happen from this. Is my space... Oh, we're 83% in. I'm hoping those numbers go up. Where's the violent crime? Uh, handgun laws have something to do with that. Parents like it if there's a minimum age to buy a gun. You don't need to be a minimum age to buy a gun. Pollution, are you done yet? You're close. I think if pollution drops, health should go on the rise again. That's what I'm hoping, anyhow. Let's see, an infamous on evolution. If we teach evolution only, tons of liberals. Let's, let's see. If we teach both systems. See, if you can find this happy medium. I don't know. I mean, we have a big technological advantage, but... I don't know. This is a game, so I'm not playing it the way I would maybe uh, if I was in real life. Lots of implementation, implementation delays. But we are getting a bigger surplus, so again, I'm going to move on to the next turn and see what we can come up with. Uh, let's see, 11 more surplus. We would get 96%. The economy is in deep recession. Oh my lord. I really don't want to do anything until that recession is over, so hopefully... Let's see, much of our countryside is still privately owned, which is fine. Which access to walk on the land restricted by landowners. There's a strong campaign to bring in laws forcing landowners to make their land accessible to ramblers and walkers to enjoy countryside within certain guidelines. If we support this, it's crazy to have so much open and often entirely unused land in private hands while our cities are so overcrowded. This law will allow citizens to enjoy the beauty of our countryside whilst retaining the final property rights and ownership privileges of the landowner. It's a good compromise. So they're supposed to leave the crowded cities and go out and just walk around? You know what? This is so crazy it sounds like something France would do, so I support this wholeheartedly. Let's check our issues. Oh, I think pollution will be knocked out next turn. I think obesity is going to be knocked out next turn. Asthma is starting to come back down a little bit. <sighs> Education stops crime. So prisons make crime go up. How does that make sense? I don't even see prison. Oh, here it is. So if I do extensive rehabilitation, crime goes down, liberals go up, conservatives go no, liberals stay the same, conservatives go up, state employees. So that that's a win-win. Yes, I will decimate this organized crime. We will brainwash them into being perfect citizens in a society. I think that's what France would do. And we've won a Nobel Prize! We've also ended organized crime. And we've ended obesity. Hooray! Nobody's fat in France anymore. Hooray! And she wins the penis with the pearl in it. Good job, woman. You did a good job. You've created something that will be marvelous. 
Our GDP is on the rise. Our health is on the rise. We are doing wonderful. It's only two red things. And asthma is on the mend. And uh, looks like pollution should be done. For God's sakes. Um, that trigger is knocked out. Let's look at our funding. Policies, people are against border controls, which makes no sense. So we get rid of them, nothing chances happens. We just lose patriots. Doesn't even make sense. I think everybody's happy with us checking the border a little bit. I also love the fact that my mandatory organ donation program, people do not like that. Or the, the disability disability benefit. That is terrible. I I just I don't even know. Um, they're not happy with this. I mean, I don't think the inheritance tax really does anything. It only makes us two billion. So I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, and uh, they're against technolo technology college? It doesn't make sense. We don't want you getting smarter, you motherfuckers. You stay dumb. And let's see, private pensions. Ooh. Alright. Moving along, then. Let's visit my cabinet. Hi, cabinet. You all doing okay? What is your problem? Oh, you're religious and conservative. No wonder nobody likes you. Um, do I have somebody that can handle welfare that would be awesome for me? Um, she could do that. He's 4.4. He's 4.5. So yeah, I think I'll fire her. And I know people are going to get pissed off and... They're gonna be like, oh my god, let's see, welfare, who's the highest? You are. So maybe everybody be okay with that. If not, it'll be a big scandal. Let's go to the next turn. They're gonna be like, holy shit! Pollution is now at an end. Um, the economy's still in a deep recession. We've still got a surplus during this. <laughs> oh my lord. If I was to go tomorrow, I'd get almost 98% of the vote. Let me go back to that screen. 98%. Let's see. Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries. I call this the America decision. In the Middle East to prevent, protect them from attack by terrorists. The governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. This is why we have the military, and we should not be afraid to use it. Foreign terrorists need to understand that we are prepared to take determined action to safeguard our oil supplies. This is not a foreign invasion. Merely the provision of extra security for vital parts of our industry will happen to be overseas. If we do not deploy troops, the oil supply will suffer. It doesn't matter what our motivation is. The symbolism of our troops landing on foreign soil, heavily armed, and prepared to use daily force, is going to cause a major backlash. It says right up here, the governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. That always makes me wonder. Our troops are not the security wing of the oil companies, and this is no job for them. But in hindsight, you have to remember, um, if you're not protecting the oil, prices will go up, so we're going to send our troops. I didn't make my army bigger for no reason. I'm ready to... I need 8 billion extra. Maybe if I could pay off this debt some more. If I could pay off that debt, I will totally, totally dismantle that debt and pump up my military. That's the go, anyway. Do have buses? Is that something I never went through? No bus subsidies, huh? Oh well. Let's move on. Hopefully we can knock asthma soon. Car usage is doing that. So yeah, theoretically if I did do the bus initiative, 
And more people... Um, bus lanes... Bus lanes is cheaper. Hmm... Four hundred million of that. Um, I don't know. The bus lanes is cheaper, but I would really like to get something. Let's do the cheaper one right now. Motorist goes down. Bus usage. Commuter. All right. So maybe that that'll help us. To get cars off the road, we can cure asthma. Uh, loyal fair, 9 billion, 96%. We're still in a deep recession. And whaling has been brought up. A resolution is before the government proposing the reintroduction of a small-scale commercial whaling in Japanese waters. Whale meat is a prized local delicacy, and commercial whaling would create many jobs. If we resume whaling, uh, it would produce a welcome boost. Not every species of whale is endangered, and commercial whaling can go ahead without danger of causing extinction. Keep the ban in place. Whales are generally accepted to be among the most intelligent, blah, blah, blah. Restarting commercial whaling would be incredibly destructive, as well as potentially causing a drop in tourism. We have the fucking Eiffel Tower. We're not going to stop tourism here. Um, let's just keep the ban. It's not a big deal. Our health is almost maxed out, though. I'm excited about that. Education is maxed out. We have the most advanced people in the world. People love me. Look at this. Look at this. Like SKS, we love you. We want to lick your balls and your taint. Uh-oh. Now, this is kind of scary. The budget has a small surplus of 12.8 billion, but we had a market meltdown. We may not have done anything wrong, but a crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage market has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. I blame America. So we're still in that deep, deep recession. And it's hurting our economy. So our debt is down below the 400 billion mark. So I'm hoping soon. How's my advisors doing? You all need to pick up the pace, guys. I'm getting upset at you all being slackers. Let's see, is my space program in full effect? It is! Hooray! I'm so excited. I wish I could like extend this like even farther. And I don't think there's anything else I can really, uh... I don't think there's anything else I can really, uh, go into. People support a mansion tax. Uh, is it perceived as unfair by some elderly people who may have expensive homes but relatively low incomes and thus having difficulty in paying? Uh, it cost us about 113. We make 11 billion off of it. How many wealthy people do I really have in the country? They like me. Oh, they're 36. Oh, that's trade unionist. I'm on the wrong one. She's a wealthy person. Oh, she's a princess. Well, if she's a princess, she needs to realize that us fucking princesses would like a blowjob every once in a while. The religious hate me. Wow, only 1% of the population is religious. Oh, that's good. Good to know they don't like me. Who makes up the biggest group, I wonder? I don't know. I'll never know. What's this guy? Oh, he's a farmer. Okay. Seems legit. I'm wondering what I'm going to do here. Uh, changes. Is this under my... This is a list of the changes of the state of your country since you were first elected. Oh. So the health is up 60%. Education's up 30 Crime is same. Violent crime has went down. Poverty has went down 20%. Technology's went up. The working week has went up. Good. Equality has went down. Excellent. 
<laughs> Rail is up. Air travel's up. Immigration is up. Bus usage is up. Productivity's up. Unemployment's down. CO2 has went up. Well, that kind of goes with the GDP, which is up 30%. Wow, well, tobacco usage just went up 11%, and so does alcohol consumption. And my tourism is de destroyed. Uh, the global economy is hurting that. I need to include my foreign relations. So maybe that's something we can work on next time. Anyway, leave your comments if you can. I know this whole new Google Plus thing is taking over. But anyway, uh, let me know what you want to see. What do we need to add? Um... As always, I like to read your comments, and again, uh, just to throw this out here with this timing, uh, you can always add me on Steam or Facebook, and I talk a lot on there in case this YouTube thing goes wonky. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you next time. Uh, good night, gamers.